Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize game loop for PUBG or Call of Duty Mobile or any game you play. This guide will cover all of the best settings to help you optimize the performance of your emulator. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, first things first is the best Windows settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're here you have to go down to personalization then click on colors and over here you wanna have to disable transparency effects. It is very helpful while you're playing your games. After that go back and then head over to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Since this is an overlay service, game bar does not really help you in improving your game's performance and it consumes CPU and RAM resources. You guys can simply disable it to improve the performance. After that go back, head over to game mode and turn this thing on this will optimize your pc by disabling unnecessary animations and pop-ups which can distract you from your games after that click on the graphic settings and then you have to enable optimizations for windowed games because this uses advanced features in compatible games to reduce input latency for that click on advanced graphic settings and enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling this is one of the most important settings out here because it is really useful to utilize your graphic card to render all of your games after that you wanna have to simply search for game loop and then click on open file location right click on it and then open file location once again once you're in this folder simply copy this folder path then click on add desktop app and right over here you wanna have to paste this path scroll a bit down until you find qme emulator service.exe click on the add button once you find it simply select gpu preference and select high performance after that click on the add desktop app button over here and then you want to select appmarket.exe and then click on the add button simply select it and then for the gpu preference do the same thing set it to high performance and that should be it simply close your settings well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. Mark. There are multiple payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is deleting shader cache and for that you have to head over to the game download location once again. So here is where I downloaded my game. What you guys have to do is head over to the TX game assistant, head over to UI and then shader cache right over here. Simply control and A to select all files and then shift delete every single one of them. Once it is done simply close it. Next step is compatibility settings and for that you have to head over to the same file location and then you wanna have to right click on appmarket.exe and then click on properties. Then you have to go to compatibility and then you wanna have to select disable full screen optimizations. After that you wanna have to click on change high dpi settings and then you wanna have to select override high dpi scaling behavior. Click on ok, click on apply and that should be it. Next step is disabling unwanted background applications. So you have to search for edit group policy. This step will only be available for windows pro users once you are here head over to computer configuration administrative templates windows components then you have to find app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background you gotta double click to open this policy up and make sure that this is enabled so that default for all applications should be set to force deny and then click on apply button this will disable all kind of applications running in the background helping you to save your system's resources click on ok and then close it next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and then then scroll a bit down until you find your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it game loop just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, click on the close button and then close system properties. The next step is game loop optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. This will have five simple folders and let me start with the first one that is CPU priority. Over here you'll find AMD as well as Intel CPU priority. So if you have an Intel CPU like me, you can double click and apply this 
this priority it could be different for you so you can also apply the amd priority if you have an amd cpu after that second one is ram optimization and this will help you to set the correct d word value for your ram to improve your performance i have 32 gb ram so i need to apply this registry however i have left a ton of presets according to your pc which you guys can apply for you to know it you can simply search for system information and then look for installed physical memory once again if that doesn't work out well for you guys you can always reset it back to default right over here next one is game loop priority in which i have left game loop high priority you wanna have to right click and open it up with registry editor this will help you to set up the correct d word value and allocate maximum priority whenever you're using this application next one is disable unwanted services and right over here i have left some services which are really useless for your pc you guys can start double clicking and disabling every single one of them and this will help you to save your system's resources and at any point if you want to revert all of them back again use revert registries folder and run all of these once again to turn them back on last is the useful programs in which i have left these three program files which are really important first one is clean temporary files you wanna have to right click and run it as administrator this will open up a small pop-up wherein if you press any keyboard button it will help you to delete all temporary files off of your pc and i would recommend you guys to do it every now and then once it is done close it next one is msi mode utility 3.0 right click on it as administrator this simple tool will help you to allocate the correct gpu priority for your pc and for that you have to look for your graphic card in this list and then click on the msi button next to it for the interrupt priority when i have to set it to high and then click on the apply button once this is done it will allow your graphic card to handle more interrupts and this will improve the performance of your graphic card without overclocking it next is quick cpu setup you want to have to run this setup and open up quick cpu this simple tool might look complicated but it is not trust me what you guys have to do is look up for power plan and then set it to ultimate performance if that is available for your pc or you can set high performance and then click on set as active once that is done you want to have to make sure that all of your core parking frequency scaling and turbo boost as well as performance sliders are set all the way up to 100 percent and then click on the apply button this will ensure that your cpu is tuned for the maximum frequency and is giving you ultimate performance right away once all of that is done you guys can simply close your fps pack next step is ms config and for that simply search for ms config and open up system configuration on your pc once you are here head over to the boot settings and then click on advanced options click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your pc click on the ok button and then you guys can disable all kind of fan control rgb services browser update service or printer services which are really useless and you do not use it on a daily basis once that is done click on the apply button and then click on ok click on exit without restart next step is the game loop settings and for that simply open up game loop on your pc and once you are here click on these three dots and then head over to settings then click on the engine button and then make sure that your rendering mode is set to auto then you have to enable the first four options over here that is enable rendering cache force global rendering cache prioritize discrete graphic card and enable rendering optimization for anti-aliasing go with off however if your pc allows you can go with balanced as well for memory you need to calculate it and to calculate it simply search for system information and look for your installed physical memory that is 32 gb for me so now you have to open up your calculator you have to enter the memory you have installed on your pc and divide it by 4 the basic concept is that you are using 25 percent of your ram in this emulator so if i divide it by 4 it gives me 8 now you have to multiply it with 1024 to give your memory size in megabytes i have set this size but if you guys have less than 8 gb ram what you guys can do suppose you have 8 gb ram you have to divide it by 2 instead of 4 and then you get this size multiply it with 1024 and now you are getting 4096 so you have to set 4096 if you have 8 gb ram if you have 16 gb ram you have to set 4096 if you have 32 gb ram you have to set 8192 and anything above that you have to keep 8192 for processor you're gonna have to click on automatic resolution i have gone with 1920 by 1080 for screen dpi i have gone with 240 and audio channel should be wave out after that head over to model and then for the customized mobile phone model you have to select common model and then go for asus rog2 or google pixel 2 xl one plus five is also a good choice right over here then you wanna have to head over to the game settings and then go over to the game that you normally play for me it is pubg mobile for the game definition i have gone with hd that is 1080p gaming for graphics quality i have gone with smooth for fps i have gone with the maximum available and then click on the save button after that you guys can drop into the game with the best settings available so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel we're really close to 250,000 subscribers and i trust you guys we have 
have also launched channel membership so if you guys are not a member yet consider getting it and we'll see you in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out